It's bothering you up up there? Ah, uh, definitely, definitely. Um, how, uh, how, how do you feel like, uh, I saw obviously the news yesterday with the Olympic team being part of that pool. Well, what does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's an honor to be able to represent my country. Uh, I mean, uh, I talked to Grant a little bit, so um, I, was, I was already in the loop. And uh, obviously, I want to continue to focus on what we're doing right now. But uh, it's definitely an honor to be, uh, be able to be mentioned with a lot of those players who have um, already won gold medals. Being a part of that before, does this feel like it might come at a better time in your career? Uh, definitely. And uh, obviously, um, it's FIBA, FIBA is a bit different for, for the U.S. than yeah. it is, you know, viewed around the world. But uh, just being able to be in that contention to be in the Olympics, which is something that um, obviously America takes a lot more seriously than other things, uh, is definitely an honor for sure. Obviously, the NBA is a goal growing up, but, but do you kind of think about the, the Olympic team and, and playing on that, that level as a kid too? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, watching for us, you know, people my age, being able to watch the Redeem team um, definitely has mem definitely puts memories in your head. And um, for me, obviously, the way that like someone like Melo played in the Olympics and, and what he did, I think uh, are lasting memories. So uh, being able to be in that position is definitely an honor and a blessing. You started out really hot this year and it kind of just slowed down a bit, but how difficult is it to sustain just that level that you were at at the beginning of the year? I mean, I think consistency is always that word. So, um, you know, you want to be as consistent and just knowing that you go through slumps is, is human and normal. Uh, but just trying to be able to get to that level of play while also winning games is definitely a goal. Where do you feel like you guys have been at as, as a team recently? Um, like I said before, we have to be able to finish games. I think um, the road trip, we could have easily gone you know, four and one, but you come back going two and three. Um, is it something that you want to do? But we, we handed a couple games away. Um, you know, just not being able to protect home court uh, like we wanted to and like we did uh, before we went on that road trip is something that we have to be better at. The stretch that Domas is showing. I mean, I know you guys talk about him all the time, but in terms of maybe not getting the love he, he needs, but it, the numbers itself, is it kind of blow you away? What he's even be able to do, you have like a idea of what he is, and then he maybe even go to a next level with some of these triple doubles and double doubles. Yeah, I mean, like we said before, uh, those are things that he does on a normal basis, and um, uh, you know, we don't want to necessarily get used to it or get numb to it. But um, he's going out there and he, he's doing what we expect him to do. Uh, and if people, you know, aren't taking notice of that, that's on them. You guys had some really strong defensive moments against Atlanta. We saw some of the flashes too against Phoenix. How? how how close do you think you guys are maybe to turning the corner? Like, what's it going to take for you guys to do it consistently? Uh, we just got to be able to put complete games together. Uh, I mean, most of Phoenix game, we were we were great outside of the last you know, seven minutes. And then um, most of the Atlanta game, especially in the first half, we were great. And, uh, we had some lapses in the second half. So we have to just be able to put a complete game together. That last game, I mean, we saw a couple things that might have been a little different. This might be more of a question for Mike, but is that kind of what you expect rotationally, situationally from this team? Oh, I have no idea. Yes, I have no idea. <laughs> Keegan's been taking a lot more mid ranges this year. Just how do you feel like he's been there, and how important is that for the long term development of his game? Yeah, I mean, whenever you get the get the reputation of being a shooter, uh, obviously they try to run you off the line, and um, he's been taking that and, and turning it into more of a strength, not just being uh, someone who hovers around the three point line. Do you think he has a, enough of a bag to kind of get to a shot right now? Or? Yeah, he definitely does. I mean, and then being you know six eight makes it tough for people to block a shot or even contest it. So. Um, if he has that confidence in being able to get to a spot, I feel like that makes the game a whole, a whole lot easier for him. Did you give him shit about being sorry stuff about being about not being able to finish the best on the team? Oh, uh, last year, I, hell, I haven't finished this year, so I don't I don't even know what they what the numbers look like. Yeah, Darren, you've always been really good with us in the media. Was your your recent like media silence frustration with the media directly? <sighs> no. No. Was it was it? And if you don't mind me trying to pinpoint it, was it? Like, There's was there miscommunication? No? You just don't want to comment at all? Nah. Okay. Dion, you know, with the trade deadline coming up, obviously it's a lot of distractions and whatnot. What are you guys as a team, you know, doing just to block out all of that, stay focused, stay the course, and continue doing what you guys are doing on the court? Honestly, the other day I just found out that it was two weeks away, so I had no idea how close it was. Uh, but no, I mean, you be a professional, you come in here, you do your job, uh, you leave, and you can read all the stuff that you want, who cares? Uh, but whenever you come in here, you worry about the guys who are in here.